Question number one. What is the working principle of cooling towers? Answer. The hot water is sprayed from the top of the tower, while the air is made to flow from the bottom of the tower to the top. This air cools the hot water in the cooling tower. Air evaporates a small percentage of water, thereby cooling the remaining water. The air absorbs the heat and leaves at the top of the tower, and cooled water leaves at the bottom and recirculate to the condenser. Question number two. Name different types of cooling towers? Answer. The cooling towers are classified as follows. According to the construction of material. Timber for small tower ferro concrete for large capacity stations. Multi-deck concrete towers for large steam stations metallic according to the nature of air draft. Atmospheric, or, natural draft cooling system mechanical draft cooling tower. Question number three. How the atmospheric, or, natural draft cooling towers are classified? Answer. In atmospheric, or, natural cooling towers, the natural air provides the required cooling without the use of fans. This is classified into three types. Natural draft spray filled towers. Natural draft pack type towers. Question number four. How mechanical draft cooling towers are classified? Answer. Mechanical draft cooling tower is classified into three types. Forced draft tower. Induced draft counter flow tower. Induced draft cross flow tower. Question number five. Define draft. What is the use of draft in thermal power plants? Answer. Draft is defined as a small pressure difference required between the fuel bed, furnace, and outside air to maintain constant flow of air and to discharge the gases through chimney to the atmosphere. Draft can be obtained by chimney, fan, steam jet, or air jet, or combination of these. Question number six. Write about classification of draft? Answer. Draft is classified as natural draft, artificial draft. The artificial draft is further classified as steam jet draft, mechanical draft, induced draft, force draft. Question number seven. Write about artificial draft? Answer. In modem power plants, the draft should be flexible to meet the fluctuating loads, and it should be independent of atmospheric conditions. To achieve this, the aid of draft fans becomes must, and by employing the draft fans, the height of the chimney would be reduced. Question number eight. Write about force draft system? Answer. In this system, the blower, force draft fan, is located at the base of the boiler near the grate. Air is forced to the furnace by forced fan, and the flue gases are forced to chimney through economizer and air preheater. Question number 9. What are the advantages of forced draft system? Answer. Since the fan handles cold air, the fan size and the power required are less. No need of water-cooled bearings because the air being handled is cold air, pressure throughout the system is above atmospheric pressure, so the air leakage into the furnace is reduced. Question number 10. How the induced draft is working? Answer. In an induced draft system, a blower, induced draft fan, is placed near, or, at the base of the chimney. The fan sucks the flue gas from the furnace, creating a partial vacuum inside the furnace. Thus atmospheric air is induced to flow through the furnace to aid the combustion of fuel. The flue gas is drawn by the fan passes through chimney, to the atmosphere. Question number 11. Define force draft and induced draft cooling towers. Answer, if the fan is located at the bottom of the tower, and air is blown by the fan up through the descending water it is called as forced draft cooling towers. If the fan is located at the top of the tower, and air enters through the louvers located on the tower side, and drawn up and discharged through the fan casing, it is called as induced draft. Question number 12. What are the advantages of induced draft cooling tower over forced draft cooling tower? Answer, the outlet water comes in contact with the driest air, and warmest water comes in contact with most humid air. The recirculation is seldom a problem. The first cost is low due to the reduction in pump power consumption. Question number 13. What are the advantages of hyperbolic natural draft cooling towers? Answer, since no fans are used power cost, and auxiliary equipment's cost is reduced. Hyperbolic tower chimney creates its own draft, even when there is no wind. Ground fogging and warm air recirculation are avoided in hyperbolic towers. The structure is more or less self-supported. 
Question number 14. What are the factors that affect the rate of evaporation of water in cooling towers? Answer. Amount of water surface area exposed. The time of exposure. The relative velocity of air passing over the droplets. The RH of air. The direction of air flow relative to water. Question number 15. Define the term natural draft and what are the advantages of natural draft system? Answer. The tall chimney creates the natural draft by the temperature difference between hot gases in the chimney and cold atmospheric air outside the chimney. The advantages are no external power is required. Air pollution is less since gases are discharged at high level. No maintenance cost. Capital cost is less than artificial draft. Question number 16. Why the balanced draft system is preferred than other system? Answer. In the induced draft system, when the furnace is opened for firing, the cold air enters the furnace and dilate the combustion. In the forced draft system, when the furnace is opened for firing, the high pressure air will try to blow out suddenly, and furnace may stop. Hence the furnace cannot be opened for firing, Q, inspection in both, systems. Balanced draft, which is a combination of induced and forced draft, is used to overcome the above stated difficulties. Question number 17. What is the main purpose of chimney? Answer. The main purpose of chimney is to emit the flue gases at a considerable height to avoid nuisance to the surrounding people. Question number 18. What are the different types of load act on the chimney? Answer. There are two types of loads acting on the chimney namely, its own weight which is considered to as a single vertical force acting through the centroid, and the wind pressure, which is considered as the horizontal force acting on the centroid of vertical projected area. Subscribes my Tech Mecca channel. Also like, comments and share our video if you really like. Join our Facebook group and Facebook page.